Hey, yo, what's up? This is Hassan. So, shout out to TJ Got Kicks 89. So What's up guys, CJ Guy Kicks 89 here back with another video for you guys. Been a while, I know, but um, this isn't really a recent pickup, but we have another pair of the Adidas Game of Throne Ultra Boosts. And this one is the House of Stark. So another way, another way. So another Ultra Boost Game of Thrones um, on this YouTube channel of mine. This was a late, late pickup, obviously. Um, this one, uh, the first Ultra Boost uh, Game of Thrones that I reviewed uh, was Zarip's pair of House of Targaryen Ultra Boosts. Uh, today we've got the House of Stark, which represents the House of Stark, as you can tell on the logo at the back here. Um, this Ultra Boost I believe this was built on a 4.0 last, um, the knit patterns show that. Um, but the main difference is, uh, firstly the boost is done up in black, which uh, on regular ultra boosts are white, and the traction pattern utilizes the new continental rubber version, which if you guys can tell up close, it's far more durable and far more thicker compared to the ultra boost. 1.0 to whatever so 360 look on the ultra boost game of thrones house of stark So Hakim just finishing the Game of Thrones season which was out on HBO Go I decided that he wanted a pair of Ultra Boost Game of Thrones and we got this for a super super steal the person who last owned this just used it once or twice as you can tell the traction pattern is still intact the boost is still white which was the reason why I got this pair for Hakim I hope he was happy with this purchase but the materials used on this pair specifically can't compare it with any others obviously I remember that the House of Targaryen had similar build with this whereby it used a premium suede on the toe and this um, well it's real leather on the cages right here if you can see there's there's that bulu bulu thing going on right there which means that it's real leather same thing on the front, you've got it in the back where the heel cup usually is made up in plastic. This one is in uh, the same suede that was used in the front, is now used in the back. And in the sock liner itself, it uses a very chenille like uh, towel material which increases sweat absorption but also makes this shoe a very, very hot box kind of shoe. I forgot to also mention that they had suede on uh, on the toe as well. On the inside, you've got the same Game of Thrones insole, reads Game of Thrones, and I believe this is the same pattern that you'll be getting for all of the Ultra Boost Game of Thrones. Um, even on the inside, you can see that the, the boost is kind of colored in, similar to what was here. If you actually want to know, the boost on the side is not actually black there is no black boost this is just painted over by the adidas factory lots of people have tried to emulate um, this sort of style of boost because they hate when their boosts turn yellow obviously i think people just hate wearing their shoes and hate showing character for their past but a lot of people if you remember in the early 2016 2017 when the ultra boost triple blacks dropped uh v1 1.0s to 2.0s and the 3.0s garnered a lot of hype and resale just just skyrocketed on those because of the durability and the wearability of the boost being black. Uh, another interesting note is the laces on the tips. You've got Stark here and you've got House here. So I know that this is going to be really, really bad. 
but put them together, you get House Stark. So that's just the re-review um, of the House of Stark Ultra Boost Game of Thrones 4.0s. Actually on the Adidas website, it was just the Ultra Boost Game of Thrones. This retail for 829, I believe when it dropped, Zarya got his pair on retail. Hakim didn't have to pay retail on his, but I believe that when boost hype just starts going up again, as with, as with any of the sneakers um, going through the same cycle process, this will definitely be one of the sought after pairs in this collection. Maybe they'll re-retro it in 10 years time, 20 years time, I don't know. But I definitely do know that once the Jordan brand and Nike hype just drops, this will be the next thing that will come back up. Like, don't quote me on it, but it's a really good time to be a boost collector right now, especially if you're into the ultra boost, like how I am. Um, that takes care. That takes care of this review. TJ got kicks eighty nine, ultra boost, Game of Thrones, House of Stark. Winner is coming. I'm out.